the Jerry Flint Internship for International Business Reporting, endowed by family and friends. This one is for the irascible, permanently contrarian Jerry Flint, whom I considered a friend. It goes to Charles Rollet of NYU, who wrote about corruption in the beer distribution in Cambodia. The judges love these beer distribution stories. He's headed to the Wall Street Journal in Hong Kong, which is poetic justice because Jerry worked for the Wall Street Journal at one point, and son Joe currently works there. Presenting is Kate McLeod, Jerry's wife, and son Joe. Jerry had a way of finding stories that were tucked behind curtains that people did not want him to see. And we found that same characteristic in Charles's story. And um, we now have Charles as the seventh winner of the Jerry Flint International Business Scholarship. And we welcome him very much to the Jerry Flint family. Um, I wrote my OPC essay, as you know, about beer, so I thought a room full of journalists uh, would appreciate a brief retelling of the story. Um, when I was working at the Phnom Penh Post on the business desk, uh, suddenly we heard that the entire country's Heineken supply had dried up. Bars and restaurants around the country panicked. It's actually one of the most popular premium beers in Cambodia. Um, so I remember confirming the story on a rainy day popping into a liquor store after a liquor store, completely soaked, asking owners, you know, where's the Heineken? And they, they had no idea, it was completely gone. And um, how did this happen? So what we found out is that a few weeks earlier, Heineken had dropped its former local distributor of 20 plus years. Um, it was run by a female Cambodian tycoon, a former noodle seller who made a fortune smuggling goods from Singapore after the Khmer Rouge fell. Um, she was described as the gatekeeper in a leaked State Department cable for her extensive government ties, particularly to the Customs Department. So Atwood was furious when Heineken decided to cut it out of this exclusive deal. And ever so mysteriously, not a single bottle of Heineken could be imported into the country for four months, um, which was more than enough time for Atwood, the, the company, this distributor, uh, to score an exclusive deal with Corona and sponsor lavish parties at the country's nightclubs. Um, so breaking this story felt important, not because I felt so sorry for Heineken, but because it showed how business is really done in Cambodia. The country is run by an elite which captures markets through political connections, um, making fair competition pretty much impossible and worsening its deep inequality. And that's why I love business journalism. I think it can shed light on deeper truths about society that may not be obvious on the outside. And I think we can all agree that shedding light on undercovered issues has never been more necessary than today. So that is why I want to make a career you know, in this field. Thank you.